Hello everyone, my name is Pablo Cortez and today I would like to discuss with you the correlation in biostatistics. So when I was doing my master's degree in health sciences, I didn't know much more about biostatistics and uh, I needed to talk with a biostatistician. So she said to me that association and correlation are different things. Correlation is a type of association, but it doesn't mean that every association is a correlation, okay? So what is, what is it, a correlation? In simple words, it's a linear association between two continuous variables, okay? So for us to conduct a correlation test, the variables must be continuous. There are two types of correlation we can do, Pearson correlation and Spearman correlation. The Pearson correlation is a parametric test based on normal distribution of the data, while Spearman correlation, it is a non-parametric test based on no normal distribution. It is important here to remember that Pearson correlation is extremely affected by outliers, while Spearman correlation, it doesn't, okay? So we can apply skewed data, skewed distribution for with Spearman correlation. It is also important to remember that parametric tests offer the best and the valid and uh, the powerful tests in biostatistics compared to non-parametric. So here I took these images from Mukaka, uh, and here we can see three scenarios, the positive correlation, the negative correlation, and the none where there isn't a, a, a correlation. Here, when we have a, a correlation, we have an, an ascendant curve, okay? Ascendant line. While negative is descendant line. None, the points are dispersed or spread, okay? Higher the line, higher the points are together in the scatter plot, more strength is the correlation, okay? And this goes to positive and negative. Uh, one thing important to say is the minus one and positive one in the middle, the zero, okay? So the correlation will, will provide us the coefficient of correlation and by the letter R and the letter R will stay between these numbers, minus one and positive one. More close to one, minus one, we have a negative stronger correlation. More closer to one positive, we have a strong positive correlation. In the middle, we have no uh, correlation. So more closer of zero, we don't have a, a correlation or we tend to have a weaker correlation. It is also important to remember that the graphic that explained to us and show to us the, the data is the scatter plot, okay? So we are done for now. Thank you very much. I hope that you liked the video.